In this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger an email sequence for an existing contact or multiple contacts at the same time. So this is something that you need to do a couple of steps. The first thing is to create a tag for that email trigger. I'm going to call this email sequence trigger demo. I'm going to click on save. Now, if you look, I have a bunch of campaigns that are already in place. So I have a templates waitlist. I have an affiliate marketing challenge. I have different things along these lines and a bunch of others. Now, the next step is to go to workflows and I'm going to need to create a workflow trigger email sequence demo. Then I'm going to click on save on the workflow. Then I'm going to need to go into the workflow. Then I'm going to need to create a trigger. The trigger is the tag. So adding a tag and then I'm going to search for email sequence trigger demo, which is the tag I just created. Then I'm going to click on create. Then I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to choose action. Then I'm going to choose subscribe to campaign, whatever that campaign is. And I could just pick one it really doesn't matter in this case, because this is purely for demonstration purposes. In this case, I'm going to choose this one for demonstration purposes. Then I'm going to click on create. Now I'm going to click on exit. Now you're going to notice that this is grayed, So I'm going to need to activate it. Now it is live. Now let's just say I want to subscribe a bunch of people in my contact list to this email sequence. I'm going to need to go to my contacts. My contacts are right here and I'm going to click on contacts. Now these are all test accounts that I have in my contacts and assuming you want to trigger it to specific types of people, you can either individually select them like so, or you can filter them under the filters right here. So you can filter by a specific tag that they already have, which is a different tag or filter by any of these options. So example, if you want to filter by country, or filter by city or things along these lines. Let's just pretend that I'm going to now choose a couple of these people and then you at the bottom, you will see the selected contacts. Now you're going to hover over, click more actions and you're going to click on add a tag. Now I'm going to search for that tag, which is the trigger. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to click add tag to contacts. Now you'll notice the one that I added a test, a test one is funnel education plus affiliate webinar test at gmail.com. And I'm going to click add tag to contacts. Now it said it might take a couple of minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into this particular person, which is a test account. If I was to now search for this, you will notice that the tag has been added. And you will notice that they have now been added to the email campaign. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to schedule that. So it's purely a matter of when it is that you want that email sequence to begin. You're going to need to go to your contacts, choose the people or the group of people that you want to trigger the email campaign, add the tag and then let it run. Now, if you wanted to remove this tag, for example, it's not actually going to stop the email sequence. However, if you wanted to stop the email sequence, you're going to need to go and do the same process again. But instead of this tag being email trigger demo, it will be unsubscribe from whatever the email sequence is. Meaning on this particular workflow, instead of when a tag is added, 
you're going to have something else. So for example, when a tag is removed, that will be a different workflow. So let me just show you that. When a tag is removed, then you're going to unsubscribe them from a campaign. And then you will be able to remove them. Now I am using the same workflow because this is just a test workflow, but you would actually use a different one in this case. So you will need two workflows for the triggering of the campaign to start. And you'll need a separate one if you wanted to do to stop the particular email sequence or campaign if you wanted to do so. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments in my YouTube channel right below. And somewhere around here, I will also leave a playlist for more tutorials on system IO, as well as one specific video, which is an extensive tutorial about email marketing. Thanks. And I'll speak to you soon.